Hello there, um, and I'm going to show you how to connect to a R IRC server or use IRC using a Tor a proxy. Step number one: get a IRC client that uses that supports an a proxy, or you can connect using an a proxy. There are some out there that don't, and there are some out there that do. Cave IRC, KV IRC is one of them. So here's what you want to do. You want to go into settings and you want to go into the configuration of the um, settings and then you want to find the presumably the um, network options so so the connection options so a proxy host so what you want to do is you want to find out what port uh, Tor is running on and you want to do connect it to the uh, local host and usually the IP address for a local host is 127.0.0.1 alright so you also want to find a IRC server that will let you connect to it with with um because there are a lot of IRC servers out there including QuakeNet that will forbid you to use an a proxy in fact, I do not recommend that you use this. So, as you can see, that is the port that Tor is running on. So, this is the port right here. You want to copy that, and you want to um, then hit OK, and then hit OK, and then you want to close this, and then you want to paste that here. Alright, it's paste, and then you want to s use Sox version 5, and then you want to apply it, and hit OK, and then we want to connect to a server, presumably that will let us connect to it, using a Tor, a proxy server, so hopefully I will not get myself banned from... I know that uh, Furnet forbids a pro Tor proxies and QuakeNet, so you can forget about connecting to those guys. Um, let's just try and see if I can find any. Let's see if Super Chat. Uh, that looks like a. That looks like an Italian network. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to be in some foreign place. Might not be such a good idea. Um, Afternet maybe. Um. Alright, so... And as you can see... Error! Link by lost file has been rejected because of your address's poor reputation. You may th try authenticate using logon connect or CLE. Uh... Yeah, no, that, that, that obviously is blocks a Tor connection. So let's try something that is not as popular. Something that maybe X-World maybe? Nope. That's also dead. Terra? Um, let's connect to Terra. I'll just keep connecting to random servers until I can find something that'll let me connect. Because mind you, a lot of servers have this blocked. Alright, so, Shadow World, let's see if I can connect to Shadow World. And, apparently, I can. I am connected. Close. Close. Alright. Let's join it. 
Alright, so I just created that channel because that channel wasn't on Shadownet. And let's just do list to bring up a channel list to see what we got for channels. Um, mm. <laughs> for me, it breathes three prayers. Forget me not, forget me not. <laughs> um, well, this apparently is not a very popular... Um, IRC channel, because apparently this is not, um, that many, uh, channels to choose from. Oh, well, it, it just takes some time, I guess. Let's join, uh, Linux. Let's see if this, this guy, let's join this, Linux. Alright. So, I am the admin, so let's close that channel. Disconnect from it. Detach ourselves from it. Alright, so, this was created by... This channel was created in 2007, so that was a few years ago. We'll see if the admin is on. Hello. As we can see, that sent me, and if I do a who is information, so... There's me, there's my onion.lu, which is, chances are, that is the uh, Tor network that I am using. So, <clears throat> so pretty much, I am intrackable. No one can find my IP address unless they were to look at the exit node. So, yeah, that's pretty much how to, uh, connect to an IRC network using Tor or Proxy. Um, like I said, I do not recommend doing this because, first off, it's in a proxy server. People can cache what you're typing. Second off, um, there are exit nodes, so people can actually look at the exit nodes and see who logged in at that time, I think. Third, uh, just don't do it. Unless, you know, you don't want people finding out where your IP address is. Just don't do anything personal. So, pretty much that's how you connect using Tor.